it's really important that you remember that torque, just like force, is a vector. And so we have to get some real good intuition about how to imagine or predict where that vector points. We've done several examples now of how to calculate the magnitude of a torque, but we really have to learn a little bit more about where the direction of it is. Remember the torque is the vector cross product of R cross F. And we're going to use the right hand rule to calculate the direction or estimate the direction of this torque vector that's coming out of R and F. So let's think about a wheel of radius R and we're going to spin it around its center. R will point from the center of rotation out to the rim of the wheel where we're going to apply a force. Let's imagine that we're pulling off to the left with our force. Maybe it's us pulling with a, on a string or us slapping the side of the wheel, but in any case, we apply the force F off to the left. Using the right-hand rule, we can determine the direction of the torque. The right-hand rule says that we're going to take our fingers and line them up in the direction of R. So my hand, mentally, is right now pointing straight up like I'm pointing to the ceiling. Then the next step is we curl our fingers, just holding our hand out there in front of us, over to the left. And now my thumb looks like this. It's pointing out toward my face because I've curled my fingers from the direction of R over to the direction of F. And my thumb, it gives me a, a good estimate of where the torque vector, the resulting cross product, points. Torque will point out toward me, in this case, and out of the page. This uh, prediction also gives me the direction of the angular acceleration vector because torque is equal to I alpha. This is Newton's second law for rotations. The thing that you do, the torque, gives you a prediction of what will happen, the angular acceleration. And those two things point in the same direction. Notice, for example, if I pulled to the right with this force, I'd still point my fingers straight up, but then I'd have to turn my hand around so as to allow them to curl over to a force vector off to the right, and my thumb would be directed into the page. We usually represent that with a little circle with an X through it. And that would be, would be a torque in the opposite direction, and the angular acceleration would point in the opposite direction as well. So it's good to get some practice using the right-hand rule to give yourself an idea of where the cross-product vector will point.